Oh! Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Matt. And, and this, this is Physics and You. Hey guys, thanks for joining us for Physics and You. We got a great program today. Matt, why don't you start us off? Thanks, Jeff. Today we're going to look at G-force. Gravitational pull. In a way that's easy to understand and fun. Everybody knows the Earth travels around the Sun once every year. But not everybody knows what would happen if gravitational forces weren't exactly where they are. So what is that all about anyways? Well, that's gravity. You see, this phenomenon is caused by the extreme mass of the Sun and its pull on the Earth. The standard formula for gravity is gravitational force equals g times m1 times m2 divided by d squared, where g is the gravitational constant, m1 and m2 are the masses of the two objects for which you are calculating the force, and d is the distance between the centers of gravity of the two masses. Hold your horses, Matt. This seems pretty complex. I have a fun and easy demonstration for all our viewers at home. Okay, let's see what Jeff has cooked up. This is Rodney. He's been asked by the state to help us out with our little science experiment. Before we begin our demonstration, we're going to need a few tools to help us out. Like celestial objects. And a solar system. And these felines represent Earth. If there are two kittens in the trunk, and each cat has nine lives, how many deaths must occur in this trunk before all the kittens are dead? chaos of space here is represented by Rodney's erratic driving habits. You see, without gravity, all celestial objects would bounce around into each other with no remorse. That's right, Jeff. In fact, without gravity, it would take the strength of 400 billion hand jobs to keep our solar system in line. Ooh. Join us tomorrow on Physics and You with our special guest Jesus, who is going to teach us how to get high with simple chemicals found around our house. Fat. Oh!